Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the different components. I get these questions a lot in my DMs about how do you find or how do you know what part is what and how do you figure them out. So here today I have four different uh, engines and four different tractors. So we we're going to be covering three different components today. We're going to be covering the water pump, the air compressor and the uh, alternator. So the engine here we have is a Mercedes-Benz engine and the water pump. So you're going to follow the pipe that's coming from the radiator and you're going to follow to the water pump the water pump it's belt driven anything's going to be in the front it's going to be belt driven anything's going to be at the back of the motor is going to be uh, gear driven the second engine we have here is a detroit it's in a cascadia in a, it's a, between the dd13 and the dd15 both of them have the same kind of setup when it comes to the motor now the water pump you're going to follow the same thing the pipe that's coming from underneath the radiator go up with it and this is your water pump even though it's sitting a little bit backward it's still belt driven the second engine we have over here we have this mac and as well as the same thing we're going to follow that pipe coming up and we're going to come up and it sits so following it up there through there so it's back there and as well it's belt driven now in the peter belt this is a coming engine in and as well the same thing we're going to go down follow that pipe follow it and it's going to come up on the back and as well sits on the passenger side and it as well it's a belt driven the second part we're going to cover which is familiar with a lot of people we're going to cover the alternator the alternator is belt driven and what we're going to be looking for is just the wires coming out of it uh, it's different than the uh, ac compressor let's focus the ac compressor has hoses coming out of it the alternator has the wires coming through it and also we're checking it to make sure it's not uh, loose and all the wires are not broken on the Cascadia, the alternator sits on the passenger side, and it's this one down here. And uh, so as well, we're gonna inspect for the wires that's coming out of it, and it's belt driven. The Mac engine, it sits on the, on the driver's side, and as well, inspecting for the wires that are coming out of it. And this is your alternator, and it's belt driven. In the Cummings, it's on the passenger side, and as well, see, just wires. We're not it's like see this is the AC compressor see how that has all the that the alternator just has wires and it's belt driven now the fun part of all is the air compressor a lot of people ask me the same question how do you find it like in the test you're just going to point I'm going to inspect my compressor to make sure it has no leaks and it's securely mounted but the way to find it you're going to follow this line and it basically sits back to, let me see if I can zoom in so your air compressor sits down there and the, on the mercedes-benz engine on the cascadias as well same thing it sits basically back there it's so hard to find it i'm not a big fan of working on the cascadias just with the location of some parts if you can see it through here it sits back there and uh, to create a place on the cascade you have to take the wheel you have to take this to be able to get to it now it's the same thing on the mac uh, we're going to just follow this this line and he's going to take us down to the compressor if I can get a little closer and let's see if we can get it shot it's so fun to show these parts but it sits all the way in there now the Peterbilt's are my favorite engines by far just because of the way they sit so far and they're easier to work on and their compressor is down here so it's here, compressor sits down there so that's going to can do all the all the different components we're going to go do different parts on the pre-trip inspection and more likely we're going to do it on this engine the main reason of this video is to show you guys that not all the parts are going to be on the driver's side not always going to be on the passenger side every vehicle is going to be different and you just have to know what you're looking for so when you're doing your pre-trip inspection or you're doing when you're driving down the road and let's say something is acting up at least you'll be able to say hey it's you can they say hey they'll tell you find your water pump or find your air compressor you'll be able to to track it back to go back to where it's at so thank you guys uh, if you guys have any questions or i butcher this video in any way shape or form please let me know and may god bless you all and have a blessed day thank you guys and have a blessed day